we are going hands on with the brand new 2019 7th generation iPod Touch. Welcome, welcome, welcome everyone. It is Andrew here from Apple Insider and this is the 7th generation 2019 iPod Touch. It looks very similar to the previous generation and we're rocking the 128 gig model. If you have seen the 6th generation iPod Touch, which came out four years ago, it comes in a near identical packaging, except for the screen, which has been updated here on this little laminate to reflect the current generation of icons versus what was out four years ago when the 6th generation debuted. Opening up the package, we're expecting the same accessories that Apple has shipped with every iPod, including a little getting started guide and stickers, the lightning cable to charge this, there is no wireless charging here, you still have to use the actual lightning cable, and a set of headphones. Before you ask, yes, these still use the headphone jack and do not use the lightning port. On the laminate, you can see all the icons have changed over the years, such as Passbook being replaced by Wallet, and even the TV app that just debuted with iOS 12.3. As we free the iPod from its plastic shackles, we are reminded how small this device is in our hands. It is exceptionally thin, and it still has a fairly large screen with that 4-inch LCD. It comes in several really vivid colors, including the blue we have here, product red, pink, black, silver, and gold. Apple made two primary changes to the specs of the iPod Touch. First, it has the A10 Fusion processor. Yes, it still is a couple years old, it debuted with the iPhone 7, but it's still more than powerful enough for the iPod Touch. In fact, it'll double the performance and give you three times as good graphics. Secondly, you can get storage up to 256 gigs, which is perfect as a dedicated music player. Other things like the cameras have all stayed the same. We then booted up our brand new iPod Touch to see what OS was installed and any new wallpapers that were included. You can see that the default background wallpaper is still an iPod exclusive one with a kind of patterned background with a subtle gradient. If you do jump into settings, they have the default ones that we see on the iPhone, such as the bright purplish red one that we see flying around a lot. This device also comes with iOS 12.3, which is the most recent version that was released. This was just released, iOS 12.4 is currently in testing, and that model name listed as that iPod Touch 7th generation. This is also likely the last iPod to support iOS 13, so the iPod Touch 6th generation that this one is replacing will likely not support Apple's next major update. We're then going to go ahead and run a Geekbench test, just a couple benchmarks to see how this guy performs, and we're getting a single core score of 2504 and a multi-core score of 4696. If we compare that to the iPhone 7 benchmark, which had the similar A10 Fusion processor, that one got a 3410 and a 5744, so definitely still faster over on the iPhone. But this spank bump is much needed and it is easily fast enough on the iPod. We played around a bunch with it and it didn't seem to falter at all. It'll even support Apple Arcade, which is coming this fall. For a set monthly fee, you can play all these exclusive titles. It's going to be really exciting and games like Fortnite are also going to excel well here on the iPod Touch. The update may seem minor, but it's perfect for those who are still buying the iPod Touch. Parents for kids, enterprise users, developers, and more. If you want to pick one up for yourself, you can find the link down below in the description and shout at me on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. Hey everyone, did you guys like that video? Be sure to click on that like button so we can create content that we know that you guys want to see. And follow Apple Insider on all social media channels. If you want the best prices on any Apple gear, check out the Apple Insider price guide that is updated daily. And until next time, we'll see you later.